right, so this is just a really quick tutorial on how to use a .bat file in Windows or an executable file on OS X or Linux to launch Maya with an environment variable. Um, and the thing that's kind of cool about this is the environment variable you can have specific to that unique version of Maya that you just launched. It doesn't have to be every time you launch Maya. So for the type of work I'm doing where I, often I'm using multiple builds of Maya and I may want to be set, setting certain environment variables specific to the, the time I launch the application, it's really, really useful and it's extremely easy to set up. So obviously what we got here is uh, Maya and this is the extension release of Maya that has the ability to override the viewport from OpenGL to DX11 and normally this would be done by just setting a system preference where you go into display and say instead of OpenGL, hit DX11. As soon as you do that, you can see that it says it's going to be um, you know, DX11 every time after you open Maya up. That's not really what I want to do in this example because again, this is the type of thing that you know, half the time I'm working in Maya, I might want to be doing stuff in OpenGL, then maybe next, next time I launch the app, I want to do something in DX11. So the ability to sort of make that choice on the fly with these little uh, executable scripts that we use to assist us in launching the application is really quite powerful. So if we just minimize this uh, down and jump to the desktop here, you can see that I've got this .bat file. If we edit that, all it has is just a standard Maya environment variable that's been set. So in this example, we're overriding whatever the display is in Maya to make sure that it uses DX11. So all I have to do is drag and drop the Maya executable on top of that .bat file. And when I do that, you can see that it's going to go ahead and launch Maya basically using that, um, that DX11 override. So if we were to look at, let's say, uh, this guy in Viewport 2.0, you can see that obviously it's got Viewport 2.0 DX11 set. And then the same thing will happen if we pop open this other version of Maya here and just kind of dock that guy over there. This one's obviously still using the OpenGL viewport. So again, I just launched Maya on the right-hand side by dragging and dropping this file onto that .bat file and it launched it with this environment variable set. So for the, uh, the type of work I do, this, this ability to choose you know, sort of what environment variables are getting set when I launch the application by a simple drag and drop operation is it's actually really quite powerful and I, I end up using it all the time. So hopefully, um, hopefully that'll be useful to some of you guys out there.